something. The Harlem Years. All right, Mr. Governor, mm -hmm. let's go over the the pluses and the minuses in your campaign. That way, if you're doing something right, I can uh, I can do my best to not screw it up. <laughs> I think that's a good plan, don't you, James? Yeah, I should do. Well, that Carville's only given me one piece of advice I ever ignored. Mm -hmm. Really? What was it? Nah, I told him to stay away from the sink. Go ahead, pluses and minuses. Okay. Uh, something wrong with my sink? Just go ahead before crawfish season starts up uh, again. Pluses. Excellent fundraising prowess. Mm -hmm. Very good hair. Voice in a pleasing register. 27 years of experience in state government. Are we still doing pluses? Because three decades in this little rat hole is something that we, I think we kind of steer real clear of, you know? Hey, against the Arnolds of the world, experience is a plus. Yeah. I mean, my God, the only budget Schwarzenegger ever pushed through was the one for kindergarten cops. <laughs> I like that picture. <clears throat> yeah, well, his guilty pleasures go. That's way too innocent. Is that it for the pluses? Because, uh... I got a lot of paper left. I think Governor Davis is uh, is too modest to say this, but... What am I too modest to say? But he stood up to big energy at a time when the feds were rolling over for it. Yeah, yeah, I did do that, kind of. Hey, in an eight-week campaign, kindness don't count. <laughs> okay, minuses. Uh... Polling data indicating a historically low level of public approval. Yeah, yeah, but the good thing about that uh, is it's only got one way to go up, so <laughs> whatever we do is bound to help. Uh, bad relations with both houses of the legislature and uh, and with my own lieutenant governor. Yeah, that Bustamante thing is a bitch. What'd you do to tick him off? Oh, I... Never mind. Too late now. Yeah, well, one good thing about it, we, 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 we don't got to waste any money buying ads on the Spanish stations. <laughs> Well, that is a good thing. Let's see, I, I, I guess you could say there's something lacking in the charisma department. Or I guess you could say that the, that whole department is uh, unaccounted for. Hey, man, that's okay. Mm. We never thought you were going to charm your way back into office. Mm. And, you know, that, that comes with its own baggage. And let me tell you, nothing drives your enemies crazier than knowing their wives are secretly dreaming of... Dreaming of whatever, you know. Yeah. I can't tell you how many people, including my wife, tell me that my name is a minus. Not not Davis. No, no, we know. Great. Hey, what do you think about it? just slapping a little more length on it? You know, like the, the Grayson Davis. Like Harrison Ford. Mm. Yeah. You know, he's, he's really Harry. Really? Graydon. Oh, like the, the, the Vanity Fair guy. <laughs> Sounds a little Canadian. He is Canadian. Bingo. Bingo Davis? I'd have trouble pulling that. No, 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 not bingo the name. Bing, bing, bingo the, 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 the expostulation. Uh, you know, if, if we were back home, I, I'd make it Gravier Davis. That, that, that's worth the vote of about 20,000 Boudreaux right there. Grayfield, is that a name? If so, it's a really bad one. <laughs> hey, if it was me, mm -hmm. I'd go balls out and call myself Graceland Davis. Yeah, well... I'm, uh, I'm not a lawyer, but uh, that sounds like trademark difficulties. Yeah. Well, listen, man, you, you've probably got governing to do. Why don't you just let James and me uh, chew this over, and uh, we'll be in contact in a couple hours. All right. You, you guys really think I've got a snowball's chance in hell? Hey, man, this is America. Incumbents always got a chance. You're right. The charisma department. <laughs> Man, he's he's in a whole different building from the charisma department. Yeah. How about the sense of humor department? How about the sense that God gave him department? <laughs> Jeez, I think his best hope is to challenge Schwarzenegger to a debate and then and then, then not show up. You know, try to give himself an a, a, a air of mystery. You know, I thought Al Gore in the second debate was dull. Uh -huh. I thought Bob Dole on sixty minutes was dull, but wow. Yeah, so. What do we do, punt? Listen, Carville. Mm. Jimmy Carter has spent decades helping build homes for homeless people. Yeah. Now we gotta do some good where we are. We gotta put a face on one of the faceless people.
service. Let's go get some lunch. angst and middle-aged powerlessness. Together they add up to Clinton something, the Harlem years.